Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Today, we're very excited to introduce a new partnership with MST Performance. Now, one of the first things that I did when I got my 335 was I put an intake on. Now, the intake that I went was an open setup, so it kind of resembled this a little bit where the intake filter was completely open. Now, when you're running an open intake like that without the heat shield and your car sounds unbelievable, just like this. Now where MST comes in is with great flow through the dry cone air filter. They did a great job with the design of the product as well. It's made of aluminum and has this nice powder coated finish. But where this serves as the best of both worlds is you get great flow, it sounds amazing, and you get reduced temperatures because of the heat shielding. So let's get started with the installation. Now today's installation, I'm not going to go through every nut and bolt. Um, you're going to notice that there's some spots like right here where there's a little bolt and there's a little washer and there's a locking washer. I'm not going to show you the process of each, so I'm just gonna show you high level today. Let's start by removing this intake. So take a flathead screwdriver and undo this clamp right here. Just loosen it up. You don't need to remove it at this time. Then over here, you're going to find your vacuum. I'm gonna just squeeze there, remove that. Then we can remove the sensor right here. Just pop that right off. Just grab under here. Just very carefully lift up. Again, make sure that nothing it's getting snagged on anything, and then you can just pull it right out like that. All right, out with the old and in with the new. Now before we do that, we need to take our mass airflow sensor, which is right here. You can see I have two different color screws. Um, these are T20s, so take your T20, take these out, and remove the sensor very carefully. All right, then very carefully, remove your mass airflow sensor. All right, when you're reinstalling your mass airflow sensor, one side is kind of flat, one side is kind of pointy, kind of looks like a triangle. The pointy side goes towards the filter. Okay, so slide it in just like that. Be very careful, make sure that it's properly seated. It, it sits all the way down. Then there are these little Allen screws that come with it. Just hand thread them in, then we'll tighten them down with an Allen key. And they're three millimeters. All right, there you go. So it's gonna look like that once it's fully installed. You can see on the outside too, it's round on this side towards the filter and it's flat towards the car. Now instead of using that front grommet as a support, what this does is it has this little arm, it's going to get connected right here. So take a T40 and just loosen this bolt. At this stage, if, if you have your cone filter on, just take it off because we're going to need to maneuver the pipe a little bit and I want you to be able to see what we're doing and grab your heat shield that looks like this. Now you'll notice that there are these cone shaped metal pieces in the bag. What these are designed to do is fit in the existing grommet, which is going to hold it in place. Take your heat shielding that looks like this. Again, it has this metal piece right here. And if you just push it down, it fits nicely into that grommet. On the other side, you're going to notice that there's a hole. I'll just take this out for a second so you can see. So it just looks like that. What you want to do is I like to take it on the outside of the plastic here because this is where your air is coming in. I want to make sure that there's no hindrance and we get all the air possible. So press that in. In the kit, there's a bolt. It's a 10 millimeter. Also comes with a washer and a locking 10 millimeter nut. Take the bolt from the outside. Stick it through that hole. Put your washer on. and then put the nut on. Then take a 10 millimeter from each side and snug it up. Once you've done that, what you can do is take your intake, slide it in here, just get it on the other side of that clamp, just like that, and then line this up. Once you have everything in place, you can gently snug it up. Right now, the other side is secured. We still have this bolt out. I still wanna be able to maneuver it around. Take your intake filter, and just slide it right on. Make sure you get a good fit. Then what you can do is you can maneuver the heat shield to make sure that you have it A, all the way on, and then in a really good position. So that's looking pretty good right there. All right, and then this just gets lightly tightened up. Okay, just like that. Nice and solid. Last part of the process is to take that T40 bolt, maneuver your intake over a little bit, put that in just like that. Then you can ratchet it down. All right, everything is rock solid. I'm going to reattach my vacuum line. Okay, make sure it clips into place and is nice and solid. Take your MAF, plug that back in. Now, some people want their intake to be as loud as possible, so this could be the finishing point for you. So I'll start the car up, give it a couple revs, and you can hear what it sounds like. 
And as you just heard, it sounds incredible. Now I'm going to take it the extra step and put the top heat shield on because I want to make sure that my temperatures are as low as possible. Now for the top part of the heat shield, which has this pretty cool engraving I might add, there's going to be another one of these pieces of metal and this is going to go into that rubber grommet. Then on the other side, there are three different locations where you're gonna put these little screws in. And just like the bolts that are holding the math in, these are also three millimeter. All right, the best way to do this is the grommets right over here. Just take this piece of metal. I'm gonna put these down so I don't lose any washers and you just press this into place. Okay, just like that. Then what you do is you line this up so that this piece is on the inside. Then what you do is you take the little bolt, you put a locking washer on, then a regular washer, and you go to one of the holes, and you screw it in from the outside in. All right, so from the outside in, line it up, screw it into place like that, and then I'll go over here, do this one. And then last but not least, we'll put this one in over here. Now, if you get out to your car and you forget your three millimeter, what you can do is you can also use a T15 because it's the same size. Just go very slowly because you don't want to mess up your bit. That one's tight and that one's tight. Okay, at this point, everything is fully installed. It looks amazing, it's rock solid, it sounds amazing, and you can expect about 10 to 15 horsepower by adding this alone. Again, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you are interested in an MST intake for your N55, we also have them for the 328s and the 320s as well. Be sure to check us out at keysmotorsports.com. As always, be sure to give us a like, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more.